when I came to the Salem Police Department, I came to uh, this agency because um, I wanted to be a DARE also or SRO. Uh, working with kids is a passion that I have. So my main goal is safety and security of the building um, and of the staff and of the students. Uh, but uh, due to, and I teach classes as well, but due to COVID, um, that's still my focus, but uh, it's not only is it in the building, but it's, it's out in the community as well. Um, and I say that because my main, um, uh, my main job description right now is here at Andrew Lewis, but we have st students here in the building and then we have students working remotely. So um, as the SRO, I have to be able to service the kids when they're here in the building. And then um, those kids that I don't see, that I don't see in the building. So um, what we've done uh, since school let out last March is we started making home visits to some of the kids that um, they need some extra support and extra services in place and, and um, things like that. Some of our kids, you know, school is a, is a safe place for them, you know, but for one reason or, or, or the other, um, they aren't allowed to come here, maybe because of, you know, health issues of their own or, or family members and things like that. So um, it's nice to be able to go visit them, check on them, offer any kind of assistance or services that we can. Um, not only as, 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 as the school district, but for them to see me, you know, as a police officer in their community and, and taking an a, a, a interest in, in them. I, I guess it's kind of eye-opening to some of the, you know, some of the issues that we might see in school, you know, some of the backgrounds, of, you know, that some of these, you know, kids come from. It gives you a better understanding of, you know, who they are as a person or, or as kids. When school first got shut down, uh, I had to go back out on the road and patrol. So, uh, of course, I started missing the kids and and kind of a way for me to cope with not seeing them in the building. Uh, well, I, I went out into those neighborhoods where I knew that I might see some kids, you know, even though I couldn't have that, you know, one-on-one -on -one, uh, contact or encounter with them, you know, at least I could see some familiar faces, wave at them, you know, and things like that. So. And, and tell them, hey, you know, we miss you. You know, we look forward to seeing you soon. On a, like on an average year, uh, I'd have a handshake with just about every student. Um, with well, with COVID and social distancing, obviously we can't touch, you know, touch hands. Um, more recently, I've started giving the giving the elbow bump, or um, I've, I've come up with some some feet handshakes with some of the kids and stuff, just to, you know, just to kind of keep that connection with them.